We're going to focus on using flipped learning to engage students. I'm Norton Gusky, and I'm going to share with you some insights based upon the survey that you completed, as well as information that I've gathered to try to answer some of your issues and needs, especially on how to use flipped learning. We're going to spend a little bit of time on the history. We'll then talk more about why flipped learning, and then we'll get into how you can use it with some case studies and then tools and resources. Along the way, we're going to be addressing the essential question, how can we use flip learning to engage learners? Over the last few years, flip learning has really taken off. Going back about seven years ago, two teachers, Aaron Sams and John Bergman, are most associated with the idea of flipping learning for their chemistry classes. Most of the early adopters of flipped learning were high school science or math teachers. However, in the last few years, teachers at all levels, K through 12, as well as in all subject areas, have begun to use more of flipped learning. If you'd like to learn more in terms of what's happening with the developments, you can go to sophia.org or go to the linked article that I have here in the slide deck. As I mentioned, Aaron Sams was key to getting flipped learning off the ground. Aaron was basically a science teacher who was looking for more ways to get his students engaged so they could be doing inquiry-based learning. Flipped learning provided an opportunity for that. In the first iteration, he basically taught to the whole class. You might want to say that was the model called flipped classroom. Over time, Aaron realized flipped classroom needed to be evolved into flipped learning so that each of the needs for all of his students could be adopted. If you'd like to learn more about Aaron, you can look at a video that's connected to this slide. So why would you use flipped learning? The Carnegie Mellon University Open Learning Initiative did a research study using their courses where they flipped the learning. And what they found is that the depth of understanding, the speeding of the process of learning could occur so that skills and concepts could be learned so that more time could be spent in class on applying the learning. We also see an increase in contextual understanding, the ability for students to look at, for instance, text or a video and see it in context of what's around it. Students participate. What happens often in class is you ask a student to respond, and they don't. But when you give them an online activity where they can work at their own pace, where they can basically find their own entry point, they then become more involved and they participate. Students also spend more time communicating and collaborating. They respond to each other as peers. They work together in teams 